And I'm here with, uh, what, are you, what are you, Tony Two-Tone? Indeed. Tony, Tony Two-Tone, Tone, who are you? He's a, a Goodfellas character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, Joe Pesci's uh, fatter, older brother. That's, that's, a, that's a lie. Yeah, it is. Tell us, that'd be a good role, though. T- Tony, what's your real last name? Uh, Not that anybody cares. No, no one gives, <laughs> no one gives a darn about that. It's uh, Cogley. Cogley, Tony yeah. Cogley. And uh, we have Oakland A's. Slugger Josh Griffey. Hey, <laughs> no, no, not me. <laughs> Josh Reddick on the podcast today. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, he smells like a beef stick right now, sitting next to him. How you doing, Josh? Well, considering I smell like a beef stick, I, I'm feeling pretty good for a beef stick. <laughs> feeling uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. You know, we played a game today, had a couple knocks, uh, hit them all pretty hard. So, you know, we're going to talk about that now because I have a beef, I have a bone to pick with you. Oh, you got a bone to pick with me. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Josh Griffey, uh, Captain Team Griffey, smartest fucking podcast. I mean, smartest podcaster on the show. I already broke our cursing rule. Uh, yeah. one second. In. We were gonna try to not curse today. Starting now. So here we go. Starting now. I don't know if you can even see my face because the pop filter's so big. This might actually be our best episode. Yeah. Hey, we got. Hey, we got to pull big, it down. It's a bendy. See how it's it a bendy. bendy. We got a big week this week. We say that every week. <laughs> every week we're like, big hey, week. we got a big, big week. week. And Josh is just looking at his phone like, yeah, you know, know, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're thirty seconds in. Reddick's like, oh, how long? <laughs> phone phone vibrates. Phone oh, vibrates. Look at my phone in case anybody important texts me. No, nobody is, dude. Yeah, in a bloop signal, it's something like Twitter. Yeah, real. I was gonna say double. Actually, no. We should probably go ahead and get this out of the way and just talk. As you can see, me and Nick are wearing uh, official Oakland A's. Um, I don't know what are these. Nick tar- and I. Tar yeah. guards. This is, yeah. This is a proper podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's use English regularly. Rob's two home runs. Now he's the grammar police. You know. So here we go. We're wearing official Oakland A's tar guards. Nick and I. Um, we were at the game today. Reddick, I think Nick has a beef. I do. Uh, <laughs> as, you all, beef. as you all know. As you all know. <laughs> I uh, I started Kent Murphy uh, for one reason and one reason only because I only want to see dingers in baseball. And uh, Reddick comes out today and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do good stuff and be awesome." And he hits a double and a single like a bitch. Uh, yeah, a single biscuit, and a double. Biscuit. <laughs> that <I come> and, <laughs> and, uh, Little biscuit. Uh, yes, by the way, uh, my boy uh, Juice McGee, Ryan Braun, one swing dinger. Yeah, I'm just saying, uh, no. Reddick, how do you feel about that single? I feel fantastic. You know, <laughs> the thing about spring training, you know, I was game two and I've already got three damn knocks. So I mean, I really can't complain. And I brought two homers. Oh, you did drop so, two. Um, you know, I feel good. But the thing they say is you can't peak too early in spring training. Let's, you know, yeah. save all your hits. let's let's just walk through that. So yesterday, you you not only just scaled the wall one time, you scaled it twice, and just you just made a just made a fool out of, of Michael Morse. And uh, how does that how does that play out in your head? Like, can you talk to that guy now? Because he's in Arizona too. You got to see him around. Well, I was in Arizona. I would never caught the ball. True. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know, Mike, Mike and I actually played together in Taiwan. Yeah. You know, two years ago before I got traded. Me neither. And uh, that's actually the storyline for Hostel too. Check it out on yes, DVD. Yes, yes, without doubt. <laughs> But uh, so I know it pretty well. But yeah, we had some playful banter on Twitter. I saw that. We, uh, I, I, saw I invited him to dinner. If you wanted to ever go out to dinner, <laughs> yeah. pay him back. So um, you know, hopefully uh, we, we get we cross paths again, and he doesn't try to do that in season. He shouldn't. Try I had a question as soon as I saw that. If you want to hit a home run, just pull the ball. Let me. Yeah, I had a question for Reddick. I'm like, as soon as you rob the second home run, did Michael Morris's girlfriend just go, "Oh Jesus," and just start texting you like, "Hey, you're free. free you're free tonight. Like, let's hang out." <laughs> what are you doing? You should. You should t- if you take him to dinner, you should go to like a you know like a Sizzler. So <laughs> they have a Sizzler or say a Ho House out here. <laughs> then you might go to. And then and then at the end, for like try to walk out on the tab, be like let's rob this place. No, <laughs> that's, what that's what I do. I rob. I mean, you got more time than I do on the show. I mean, you got more money to save than I do. Pay on this show, you can't do son of a bitch. <laughs> what do you uh, think, Tony? What were your thoughts about the uh, the single and the double today? Single, I thought, it's a solid single. It's all right. So uh, Tony, what do you do with your life? Nothing much. Uh, Tony, ignore the question. Why are you here? here? Why are you on our podcast? Why did we pull out a fourth mic for you? Uh, the question is always, why did we pull out? That's I mean, true. That's always, well, that's always that's a big question. question. We don't get to that enough on this uh, podcast. That's, that's never you the question. You pulled out a fourth, a fourth <laughs> mic because uh, I have this uh, amazing ability to just latch on sure. to people a lot greater than me. So, <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. Hey, so is Nick. Tense the podcast. Yes. Yeah. Hey, uh, Team Griffey. Team Griffey. Hashtag that. 
Let's hashtag. Yeah, yeah, it's right. in. How it's do you do that? How do you do this? Hashtag. Hashtag. You gotta use two and two. Two and two. Two and two. Hashtag. That's not a hat. That's a cross. All right. Hashtag. Don't get too religious on this show. Hashtag. Do the real job. That's what you should be doing right there. Tell me about it. Yeah. No. Face the MLB. Eric Sogard. Yeah. He looks like um every math teacher you'd ever have in seventh grade. Guy's killing it though, right? He just beat Jose Batista. Yeah, he beat Batista. He beat uh, Tulawitsky. Buster Posey for you, John. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, did, did Tulawitsky get injured during his photo shoot, and that's why he was <laughs> dead? Yeah, yeah. The problem was, is, uh, it was a Twitter. He's like, war. I look too pretty. Ow. It was a Twitter war. Most people can't spell Tulawitsky. That's so, it. Oh, true. That's a valid yeah, point. Tulo probably lost a lot of votes right there with uh, with point. some of their Colorado voters. So. You know, they got a whole new thing going to Colorado. So sure, you know, sure. Legalized marijuana, you can't spell a name with a <laughs> word so. Yeah, did you see they, they were, uh, the Girl Scouts were like selling cookies outside of the weed shops in Colorado. And That's low hanging fruit right oh, there. But, they, but, but, then they, but then they banned it. They were like, nah, you can't do that. That's a shame. That's yeah. a, that's I, thought, I, thought, thought, that's a I thought, cause. I thought we had free enterprise in this country. <laughs> last week, last yeah, week I went balls. hard on Baltimore, right? The city of Baltimore, I said, the cesspool, which is even worse than the wire. Uh, if you're a Baltimore Ravens Baltimore. fan, like, walk as far as you can into the ocean without well, floaties. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a real um, opinion. State of Colorado, though, how dare you? You're like, you know, we'll legalize drugs. You know, we're not okay with girls making money for their hobby. Right, right. Come on, they're not. Hooking, well, dude. they're selling. Let's hookers. get a real opinion on on Baltimore. Josh, you've been you've been to Baltimore. Correct. Probably have you had a, have you ever hit a dinger in Baltimore? I hit my first dinger in Baltimore. Whoa! Oh, 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 feel I yeah. Yeah. First, uh, first hit, first <laughs> dinger, first everything off the of so, you can do. With Baltimore. that, with that said, how do you feel about Baltimore? Like, as a city, as a place to be? Well, somebody who doesn't really get out in season because I'm so focused on my baseball. <laughs> um, That's why you hit singles, ladies and gentlemen. Focus. Tony's telling me no. Hey, I'm Tony don't know crap. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Know. <laughs> no, I know crap. I don't know baseball. <laughs> I, usually, I usually get to enjoy my sleep till about noon. And I go grab me a bite to eat. Of course. And I go to the field. So yeah. I really don't get out, but as much as I take my two-mile ride to the stadium, you know, I, I don't mind it. It's, it's a okay. pretty good city. Um, my theory is What's there's your, not enough crab to necessitate besides, people besides living in Besides your home field in Oakland, besides your home field in Oakland, What's your favorite ballpark to play in? Besides like when you go there, you just feel comfortable. You're ready to go. Like you're like, man, I'm gonna hit dangers today. I think we're gonna stay on the subject of Baltimore. Mm -hmm. you, I've always done just because like you got that confidence. That feels incredible. Though, right? and I don't know what it is. It's just something that happens every time I go there. It's either Dinger City or you know, Douglas City. <laughs> yeah. Now when you hit your when you hit your first dinger. Were you just like when you were running in first base, like in, in your head you're like I'm just gonna act like I've done this before, but in your head you were probably like, dude, never. what? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, like, exactly. You just I, want to I, throw your helmet and start took, punching people. It took everything that I had <laughs> to keep smiling. <laughs> like just yeah. lay out the second base yeah. and be like, I did this. Yeah. Yeah. Howard Bell style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. four I'm sure. It took everything I had not to show emotion. Yeah. yeah. At that point, you gotta act like you've been there before. Because I'm playing with guys the likes of Pedroia or David Ortiz, Mike Lowe, all these big name oh, guys. Yeah. Here I am, a 22 year old young buck, and the next old youngest guy to me is 30. Now, that, was that when you were with Boston? Yes. Obviously, yes. okay. The next youngest guy on that who, team was Ortiz's beard. Who was, <laughs> when you hit that first home run, who was the first person you had a text from on your phone when you got, when you got That's hard to tell because I believe I had over 50 text messages. Yeah? I just like people just, just stoked. Oh, yeah. People that I don't, didn't talk to at that point. Yeah. People that I didn't talk to at that point. Oh, my friend just made it now. Let's try to get money from this. It's like, it's like every time I lay out one of my movie theories on the podcast, yeah. the same reaction. The kid that hated me in high school is texting me. Yeah. I knew you'd make it, man. <laughs> We've always been friends, Josh. Let's take it. And Josh just texts back, I still hope you find that next <laughs> I'd have to turn my phone off for about 14 weeks. How far? Text. How far do you think that first home run went? Uh, you know, considering it was an oppo bomb, which oh, I was Oh, you had an oppo on your first yes, one? Yes, which I, I was... Should we, which, should, which you have no idea. You have no idea what that is because you only pull your home where like a... Woman. What? Yeah. Uh, good, oh wait, wait, good, wait, wait. wait. Let's, talk, let's, let's talk about this. Did you see? You saw the last. I showed it to you today. The last Can't Murphy promo 
where I just, I mean, I just put a Kim, I just killed yeah, it. Yeah, it was right-handed. And it was How good was it? How good was it? It was a fantastic swing until the right. second one came with a pop-up to shortstop. You oh, acted like it was a homer. Great. Hashtag it movie magic. It was movie a magic. Movie magic. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in Hollywood now. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Smoke okay. and mirrors. Uh, by the way, by the way, Griffey and I do all the editing now, and these homers are going to look even better yeah. because we suck at editing. Have you ever seen Sharknado? <laughs> That's the level we're going for. Sharknado. <laughs> Reddit, can I get you? This is this is a humble brag here. I am obviously the cleanup hitter for uh, Glendale's greatest softball team, the Spoilers. We're actually Oakland A colors. Can you shout out me and my team? We actually started out at poultry 0 and 3. We got five <laughs> runs in a slow pitch softball okay. game. You saw it. I went to the game Gross. the other night. This is what happened. Uh, first of all, <laughs> they were in a slow pitch softball game. This is a real thing. Slow pitch softball so game. Like 42? Right. 42 miles an hour. Not yeah, at, at worst, 42 at best. speed the film of slow, Yeah, if we're facing a steroid and call, an underhand pitcher. <laughs> forget the spoilers, I'm going to call them out right now. It's a slow pitch softball game. They went four shutout, or three shutout innings. How do you get shut? Who was the only guy who had a hit? How do you do that? He did. He actually went to. Not me. I hit good until the last one. I popped up the third. Have you ever, have you, Tony? Have you ever played slow pitch softball? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you look like an athlete. You look like a man of my athletic prowess. Natural athlete. You look. I, just, I thought I was podcasting with Ron Kruk over here. Well, no, yeah. John. Ron Kruk. No, I'm just, John Kruk. No, Ron Kruk. 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 Ron Kruk.
I was playing. I was the playing, episode? No, no, no. I was playing. I was playing Legion Ball, and it was. Uh, it sounds like Roman. It was the first. Yeah. It was the first home run I ever hit. We used to put down our shields and hit the balls with swords. It, it, was, it was the first home run <laughs> I ever hit in the summer, and I, and I thought it was like I was like, oh, this is summer ball. I can do whatever I want, right? It's not. It's not high school. And I yelled, I go, see in hell, big boy. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> and the, the umpire let me run all the way around the bases, and as soon as I touched home, oh, called you out. He, he, no, he just tossed me. He, he counted the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least I gave you the general. And my mom, my mom was like, you're such an embarrassment to this family. Because <laughs> like, I, play, I played tennis in high school, too, and I got kicked out of at least four matches for like just straight John McEnroe shit. Oh, yeah. And, uh, my mom was I like, used to be the terror of uh, Indiana. I yeah, my mom, my mom stopped going to like all sporting events that I was in because I just had a terrible temper and she like you disgraced your family. Yeah, I really did. Family. Disgraced like, his family. You're an embarrassment to this to the Hall name. Like Hall has no name. No, my dad, my dad's a banker. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Dad. The guys down at the mutual. Like, are nobody cares the mutual. about the halls except for my mom. I gotta say though, that Cincinnati <laughs> mutual is going wild. You ruined my loan processing. <laughs> I can't uh, wait to no. watch this video because you are gonna look like a woman from the Taliban. Like you just never like that. Mike is right here. You're gonna. Hello, I'm Nick. I hope my husband doesn't see this and throw acid on me. I gotta say, uh, you guys should play a Legion ball like four or five times since I met you. Today. Oh yeah, that's no, I'm talking about what the hell it is. You know what I mean? You know what it is. It's a math equation. No, here's what I, I feel like. It's something that you know, it's like a, a foreign you, did film. Did you play Legion that ball? Nice. What is it? What it I is? I played in the French Legion. Uh, ball. I, I played you triple S A. <laughs> no, that's cool. He was on his way to the It's American. You know what it is? It's an act of Legion. It's three inch dick. Plus unfulfilled future equals. I always play Legion Ball all the time. You have too many hand signs. You don't know. Do you know? You guys don't know much. Go to second or go to the fridge. Maybe both. I don't know. I want to urinate my pants over here. Have you ever? Have you ever, Josh? Have you ever like when you hit a home run? Have you ever just yelled something out like in the pros? In the pros, like directly at a pitcher or just in general? Directly at a pitcher. Directly at a pitcher. Um, have you ever charged the mound? I've never charged the mound. Oh, oh really? Come on, man. I've never got thrown at. They know better. They know better. They, know they better. see the belt. Have you, you, have you been, like, no, you've, been no, no. you've been beans since you've been in the pros. Oh, yeah. of course. Oh, yeah. Have of course. like any of those times where you, like did it ever cross your mind like I should go out there? No. Uh, every time I've gotten bean, it's, it's you felt like it was a genuine accident. Yeah, it's been nothing where ten percent flare. Do you feel like you would win if you went out there? Without a doubt. Without what would be your finishing move on you're a pitcher on the mound? Oh yeah, Stone Cold Stunner. You think Stunner? So? You're a yes, pitcher. Yes, yes. Stone Cold Stunner. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> take the Stone Cold Stunner out of it. You're a wrestling fan. That's right. You go out on the mound. What's your first go-to move? First go-to move? Probably the bob and weave. The bob and weave. Yeah, because more, more likely the pitcher's going to throw his glove. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try to DDP him. <laughs> DDP him? <laughs> <laughs> I like the diamond cutter. Right off the bat. Yeah. It's just like, oh. <laughs> All day. So you get a bob and weave because you're going to throw the glove. As soon as they get their arm motion in, you're already ducking out of the way and you just pop them right in the jaw all the time. Yeah, yeah. Have you, like you, an have you ever charged ever. anybody at any level of baseball you've played? I haven't. I'm, I'm, I'm well known for getting out of the way of getting hit. Yeah? I, I don't like getting beat by You don't want to ruin the money. Right? I'm not scared. Right? I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. Just don't AKA, like it. AKA some pussy ducking. <laughs> I think it's hard to hit diggers when you're on first after getting yeah, beaten, sure. right? A man of my size, I can't get out of the way of much. <laughs> have, you ever been, have you ever been beaten by a major league pitch, Tony? Uh, I mean, I think Josh threw a dodgeball at me once, and I wasn't able to get out of the way of that. But no, not well, a major league pitch. Well, let's be honest, Reddick throws like 42 best. Hey, 43. Yeah, I mean, it's tough day. when you're getting hit by 42 by Ernie over here. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Some of us have to do a 92 and higher there, right? I mean, okay. No, the first time, the first time he ever uh, threw to me, he gave me a little bit of a, a sixty-two mile an hour cutter. Yeah, and I had to duck out. Did you throw a cutter? Oh yeah, yeah. I throw a filthy cutter. Yeah, he does. I can't just go heaving stuff in the stands. I hurt somebody. At any level, did you ever pitch? Were you a pitcher? Uh, professionally, no. I, no, I mean, but at any level. Oh yeah, I was a pitcher all the way through senior year in high school. How many, I was it, that's how it works, though, right? How like many at the high? younger levels, usually the kids that are the best are also pitchers. Sure, right. That's I, how it always. My, my coach used to put. I used to pitch. I like. I topped out at like sixty-five. I was like, Coach, this is a bad idea. Um, but I threw a monster curve. Monster curve. I could probably. I, like that's what I guarantee I could strike out. The wind and alarm says like. Probably could. Didn't have any, but. Yeah, that's what, what you say with a little. No, this, this one, the uh, this one game, this one game, we're playing this team. They hit, they hit four home runs in a row, back to back to back to back. Off, off your curve? No, not off. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm playing 
third base, and my coach, Nick Hall curve. My coach, my coach comes in. He goes, "Hall, you're in." And I was like, "This is awesome, thanks." <laughs> and he goes, "Only throw the curveball. I don't think they can hit it." And I was like, "I'm pretty sure they can." <laughs> and, uh, there are four fans. <laughs> so I did. So I floated this like 55 mile <laughs> curveball, and this kid hit it at least 500 feet first pitch. And I, the I, 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 I faked an elbow injury, and I was like, "I gotta come out." <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not gonna do this all day. <laughs> I'm trying to get laid, coach. <laughs> Speaking of getting laid in amazing skills in a baseball field, uh, me and Nick went and we got front row seats uh, down the first baseline with the express intent of heckling Reddick. And we did. Trying to get him off his rock. I mean, How do you think our heckling went? Yeah, it's very scary. below average. Oh, the fans right. were loving it. I've you were there, it. Tony. The fans I've, I've, seen, I've seen a video yeah. where, you know, do something about calling me a bum. You know? <laughs> That's all I hear about. And then he comes out there and does something stupid like, hey, Reddick, you're a bum. That's what I said. Like, like I've never heard that one before since I was 12. Well, there was a lot of kids out there. I didn't want to cuss. There was, there, 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 was a, there was one kid in particular that was right off to the side there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and really, he kind of put that muzzle on everybody well, today. And then they have like, you piece of... The worst thing about the wonderful person that you are, I'm very proud of you, and I'm glad everybody likes you. I'm proud of your accomplishments. Yeah, yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah. The what worst was Josh, Josh threw some ball in the stands, <laughs> and, and we caught the ball, and, and I kept telling him, Read the way. ball. Read, no, read the ball. Yeah, read the ball. Yeah, yeah that's what we thought. No, he said. I read the, the ball. ball. I yeah. caught the ball because you were too busy eating nachos, and Reddit was like, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, he's congratulating me for catching. <laughs> right, like, right, right. Well, the little kid was sitting next to us, and he was so bummed. He's like, "Oh, he's driving the ball." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "I was like, Josh, I was like, Josh, just give him the ball." So and what was my immediate so, response though? I don't know that you go, yeah, screw him. You go, no, 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 screw that kid. Well, then he ends up giving the ball, and the kid's like, "There's writing on this." So yeah. I was like, "Oh, and like Josh had written us a message on the ball, like it was meant for us." And, so the guy sitting next to us was like, I caught a ball earlier, you can give that to the kid. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, as soon as I saw the writing on there, I was like, hey, don't read that. Because I didn't know what he wrote on there. I'm expecting a bunch of I'm smarter than that. I'm smarter yeah. than that. Yeah. I remember just throwing out there and I'm like, hey, we should probably trade that I was like, hashtag TMZ, hey, man. <laughs> oh, man. So what, should we get to some Mount Rushmore's here? Let's do some I think I've got two Mount Rushmore's I think we should do. Okay, we've been, okay. we've been wanting to do this like all week. We want to make some Mount Rushmore's. It's LeBron James' fault he brought this up. Yeah, because he put himself on the Mount Rushmore, which is dim. What? I'm not saying he wouldn't be on the Mount Rushmore, but you can't. Wait, time out, I'll say it. LeBron James, like, what is he, like, nine years into his career? Like 12. Two championships yeah. that he had to go to Miami yeah. to get. That guy's not on the Mount Rushmore, like, for such an asshole to be like, yeah, I'm like halfway through my career. I haven't achieved nearly as much as like my 15 career. other players. I'm yeah. gonna put myself on the mount. Like Bill Russell came out and did it best, right? He's like, "Hey, LeBron, thanks for not putting me on there. Basketball's a team game." And LeBron's was like, Wah. "But it brings up an interesting theory, though, right? Of like, you could do Mount Rushmore yeah. many. A Mount Rushmore. Oh, yeah. of anything. And that's the thing is, it depends on the Mount Rushmore you're talking about. Because if it's about like the Mount Rushmore of lazy people who sit around and eat pizza rolls, I would put myself <laughs> hey, up. Hey, gang member. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Hall of Famer. Like, yeah, Hall of Famer. I mean, there. Hot Pockets are out of the way for all yeah. these easy animals. I'll throw a 40-crack in the microwave. I don't care. It doesn't bother me any. But if you're talking about it, he stays around. I put pizza rolls in the freezer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah right? But it's like, I need my boy around. What can I do? Like, I don't want to pay him more. Pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I might be willing to vacuum the house, but you better pay me a pizza roll. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, dude, I might try to steal you off a Reddit care. I can have my wife buy pizza rolls. All right, now. <laughs> hashtag stay the f out of my house. All right. Hashtag mind your business. Hashtag go take my gig, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I want to get it's all I've got. It's all I've got. Hashtag I got nothing else to live. <laughs> no, I was going to hire you to work for me. I don't. I'm going to let you know right off the bat. That I'm not going to afford a lot more pizza rolls. You yeah. some rice. Right. I, I have the next. Dude, I'm gonna put it don't, out there. You might be giving me the Safeway generic. Don't sell me short. name brand. Fair enough. Don't, don't sell me short. Tell me I can buy all the pizza rolls you want, bro. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. they're I, like they're like three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they're not I don't know bro. what Reddit told you. They're not nearly as expensive. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to go there. And, and hashtag my world is shattered. <laughs> And it comes with cheese dogs. Oh, dude, I make I make pizza roll money like you wouldn't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no. like my not just on this podcast either. Yeah, yeah like, no, on every side. Everything in life, my agent's like, "What do you want to do in life?" I'm like, "Make pizza roll money." Bro. Yeah. He's I, like, "How much you want to make?" I like to think about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
let's do I was going to go out to the bars today. Reddit yeah. should be sponsored by Pizza Rolls. What if Tostino's oh, to 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 came to you and was like, hey, will you eat Pizza Rolls in right field? Would you do it? It's like, between <laughs> innings, you're just like house and fucking supreme <laughs> Pizza Rolls. <laughs> Triple meat, bro. <laughs> Only if they would improve it, then only if they could. What if you had like that holster, like the dog people who have like the little dog treats, they train them and you're like running for Michael Morris' home and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then you still catch it? Like, that would be the best you ad for pizza rolls. You roll climb the fence, grab it, and you go, pizza roll. It's like, like, what's their normal advertising? Like, hey, are you fat and have a girlfriend? And you sit in a couch in a basement and play video games and eat pizza rolls. Then Reddick's like, hey, you want to do this? <laughs> yeah. Pizza rolls. That's worth <laughs> at least $500. At least. Well, easily. And you need it. Easily. I need it. I'm strong. <laughs> we, wait, by the way, we should get a cut. That was already mentioned. We <laughs> I think if he did it, we're, we are now Josh Reddick's agents. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have any business inquiries, just tweet us. Yes, yeah, send it over to. And did, we'll refer it to did Josh. Did we call pizza rolls? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. No, pizza rolls. No, it's at Yahoo. Oh, okay. I still have Yahoo. It's more yeah. secure. Yeah, yeah, he still has Yahoo. He loved 98. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, oh, well we, I had to use your computer today to clear out that uh, to make this happen. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was like the prototype of Bill Gates' first computer. And it was like, <laughs> we put the memory card in the computer and go, ah, ah, <laughs> I can't take all this work. It has my iTunes music on it. <laughs> no, Your we, one MP3. We, right. we, put, we put the memory card in the computer. And goes, dude, it totes jelly. <laughs> this has, dude, how much this has nine time? times the memory I have. <laughs> what is this? But no. Nick, the listeners can see the Immaculate Championship oh. belt heavy, okay, yeah, let's real do this. firm. Mount Rushmore. Mount okay. Rushmore. We got the WWE Championship belt right here on the table. So the first Mount Rushmore that we want to do is the Mount Rushmore of professional wrestlers. I'm just going to say, you guys might as well strap this around my oversized waist. I've been thinking about this for days. I feel like mine's going to crush. No. You think so? Oh, yeah. No. I feel, well, That's listen, your opinion. Who, 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 was it, who was it last year? Uh, who was the professional wrestler you had the beard off with last year? That would be Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Who, who ended up winning that bet? Yes. 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 Um, yes. He won the fan vote, but I believe I had him in uh, the look of the beard. But you yeah, no, no, I agree. the difference between over a million Twitter followers and... My well, 60,000. <laughs> right, yeah, and that's, that's you and know. And you didn't help, so. No, well, oh, yeah, way to go, no but I remember, like, yeah. we, we were in the nice clubhouse guy. last year, and I was like, man, Rick, that is a nice beard you got there. And you're like, no, it's for a contest. I was like, stop being a loser and just <laughs> acknowledge that. Reddit, had I known that, I put my 130 what I'm, what I'm, behind you. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm, every vote counts. Yeah, what I'm getting at here. I would love to retweet it. Josh Reddick. Josh Reddick has an extensive knowledge in professional wrestling. Am I wrong? You are not wrong. That's big, big fan. Who was your fa- first like? But like, yeah. Wrestling. What brought you into wrestling? My first, like that was like, man, I gotta watch this. Legion of Boom. Legion of Boom. Fucking animal. Oh yeah. That was my yeah. first Legion of Doom. My first fall yeah. back. Yeah. My brother and I fell in love with the Hawk and Animal. Just put those spikes on their shoulder pads. Right? Mm-hmm. And. That was a quick following. And so you were into like the tag team stuff, huh? Kind of, yeah. I mean, I guess so like the Bash the Brothers. Is that some, is that some the Bash Brothers? Brothers? Yeah, yeah, that's the Bushwhackers. The Bushwhackers. 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 I didn't get into the Bushwhackers. No, I no. Um, I went from you know Hawk and Animal and then moved on to a three percent body fat Lex Luger. Three <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> and then who was it? Chuck <laughs> Palumbo with two percent trying to outdo him. I heard Lex Luger was Ryan Brown's dealer. No, too soon. Too yeah. soon. No. <laughs> Okay. So we're making. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make we're gonna make a Mount Rushmore. So you get four people, and if, if you had to make a mountain, it's good to know there are four people on Mount Rushmore. Yeah, because you're the one who asked. Like, how many are on Mount Rushmore? Tell me. Don't make fun of me. Hey, make two on your list. I'm like all of your. Oh, okay. And Reddick is left. I mean, just water. He's a normal normal person, and he's left us. That's Reddick played a game today and got at least a single. Now he needs a water to hydrate. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah. Throw this out. Let me kick it off. The first man that has to be on every Mount Rushmore wrestling. It's the generic. It's the the lame answer we have to is Hulk Hogan, right? Yeah. I agree with that. He's yeah, the I guy do. who took yeah. it from like it was a small kind of like yeah. town right. to town like thing, sausage in my right? And <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of sausage in there. Reddick ate sausage, sausage as we found out today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Hulk Hogan took it from like a small thing that people kind of watched. Like he made it like a huge yeah. entertainment value. It's industry. a lot of regional promotions, and then it became right. worldwide. Right. And don't get me wrong. Hulk Hogan is one of the all-time more skill level wrestlers, but, but he, he also made great movies. But he's like, iconic. Yeah. He, he brought wrestling into the forefront he, of what it became. Hashtag spoiler alert. 
Yeah. How are you doing here? That's my team name. Ho Hogan's on. Why don't we stop right, stealing Jimmy Fallon's bits? Is that what it is? Jimmy Fallon got a fist fight. Just like ever like, I haven't, I haven't watched a Jimmy Fallon bit since 1992. My whole, my whole opening is a Jimmy Fallon ripoff. I'm like, yeah, we're back. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a re anyway. I make know. real TV. I don't know about what you yeah, do. Yeah, wow. dude. I make reality TV. Hashtag because I'm, I'm real. Because I'm real in the law. What do you guys think? Wait for surreal life yeah. episode ninety eight. When well, is I'll be on there. Me and Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> the Angry Red Pepper. Yeah. yeah right. uh, who does not have Hogan on there? Mount Rushmore. That do you have Hogan on your? I don't know. I have Freddy. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Right. He has to be the most important. Don't judge my Mount Rushmore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I put him on there just for oh, for walkout music alone. For what he meant to the the. Genre. Not that I don't like him. It's not that I don't like him. I just don't. I just don't, just don't have, okay. So let's do this. This is based on top four wrestlers of all time. This is your opinion. Right. Right. It's true. Yeah, so let's Mount do it. Mount should take it. Let's do it this way. We're all gonna name one at a time because right. the suspense building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So number one. Then we gotta start with starter four. Then everyone builds the suspense. Okay. Why are you? I already, ruined my, I, I I already ruined my whole No particular yeah. Okay, so Who has Hogan on there? The first Everyone name, except the, for Reddit? Everybody the, except for me. The first name on your Rushmore. Hogan. Hogan. Number four. I'm, I'm going to go Ric Flair. Ric Flair. The nature. Oh, nature. Flair, but what, like 50? Woo! I used to live, 16. I used, to, I used to live in Hawaii, and I worked with this dude. He owned this restaurant, and he, he, lo he was like 50-year-old 50, 50 New Jersey Italian. Loved Ric Flair. And every morning, he would walk into the restaurant, and he would open the doors and be like, doing that. Go go, he go, hey Nick, let's make some dough. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you're a grown man. I love this. Yeah. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, obviously, Ric Flair definitely brought the, also the uh, the love of trannyism and oh, yeah. wrestling, like just the most flamboyant and weird of outfits, right? right. Like, that was not a thing before okay. Ric Flair. Yeah. So you got Hogan, you got Ric Flair. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say Hogan again. Yeah, that's right. Right. Hogan was my favorite. Okay, so we got three Hogans, we got a Ric Flair. Ric Flair's definitely like LeBron James' his favorite wrestler. His walkout music alone. Oh. It, it made I'm me. I'm a real American. Like, if you want to ride a Harley <laughs> and her like, 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 walkout <laughs> song for July 4th this year. I, I'm the did it, did it, it, oh, wait, did it, did it make you sad when you found out vitamins were just steroids by the gallons? I don't, I don't know, know, man. I took a lot of flints <laughs> on vitamins because of I did too. They were Clearly, true. they did this body. Really they worked, yeah. yeah. I did vitamins. Hogan really did too. Show a uh, granite over there. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> okay. I, I'm granite. a real American. Tony, stop thwarting our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got three Hogan's and we got a Ric Flair. So... The next name on your list. Uh, mine is Undertaker. Undertaker. Undertaker so, has to be on. He there. just came back, by the way. Wrestling yeah, Mark Lesnar. absolutely. He's got, he's got the yeah. the streak, yeah. the longevity he brought. Over the top theatricality. Yeah. Oh, Hogan's hosting it. Oh, he's hosting. Not it. wrestling. He's hosting. He's it. The hosting. theatricality. Like I remember when I was a kid, and they did like the big one was uh, Kane and the Undertaker. Like Kane's brother, the Kane's house brother. burned down. He was left. They were burying each other alive under dirt, and like. The theatricality of that as a young kid like just encapsulated my mind and he was just this Casket huge... matches. Yeah. Oh my god, like theatricality a word. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I thought it was no, theatrical. It is now. It is okay. now. Theatrical? I mean if you, <laughs> if you I don't know, tell me. So I'm least. I'm the redneck from Georgia. Josh, I got great name. <laughs> right. Okay, so you gotta undertake a Josh Reddick who's your next on the list. I'm 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 gonna go with Daniel Bryan. Okay. Uh, I, I really I really love what he's done lately. He has become the Modern day Stone Cold Steve You think Austin. so? You think what? so? What? Yes. What? Not as big as Stone Cold. No, but he's, big, but he's fighting the authority. He's fighting yeah. you know, the Vince McMahon. That I think can, can, can I get like, an old hell yeah? yeah. Oh, the now yeah. Triple like, H. Yeah. I think he's the modern day Spike. The, the Kane. <laughs> the Kane. If you, you haven't watched wrestling lately. Whoa! Burn, because he's, he's, he's coming in, you see everybody in the stands just pointing and doing their yes change. Yeah, 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 yes movement. Love, right. It's yeah. awesome. And I just want to say, he hasn't had this big of a push in his career until the beard off happened. Yeah. So I'm going to credit for that. That's all on you. Daniel Bryan, my, Bryan, all my, all my followers three. help push him over the top. Yeah. No, every time and he's Daniel got Bryan went to Valkyrie, he should get attacked. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Rock and roll flight of the Valkyrie. Yeah. Spoiler alert. My walkout song all year. Spoiler alert. Most fans of over the Yes Chance. <laughs> but he, he owes you a belt every time he went to it. He should give you a replica. Right. Yes. Thank you for giving me the push. Right. Don't float his head anymore. Than <laughs> Put it that way. No, I've got more belts in my bedroom than Daniel Brown does in his locker room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know much more you're giving the disc. Right 
I can't give okay. him too much credit. He beat me in a beard off. You should right. shave my beautiful No one beat me in a beard off. Got Brian. Uh, Brian, I'm going to go and say I'm going to take her again. Yeah. Uh, I, I hate to agree with you. So what is this? You're just two for two with me? No, I hate Because I hate your thoughts. Really you two girls are going to You got a whole community. I got to go, and I got to go with one of the greats around the time of Hogan is uh, his warrior. I gotta go with Ultimate Warrior. Just one of the slut, like greatest physique, like great yeah, entrance. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that guy so good at wrestling. You know what? Sure. He was the only move like, was out. Let me just head. say, the real press was fine. Let me, right. say, let me just say this. If, as a baseball player, if you were a closer, would you not walk out of this side? Right. I mean, the Ultimate Warrior is just straight <laughs> sprinting out of the right. ring. Yeah. You're in left field. As soon as that kicks up into the upbeat tempo, you just start spraying all the way like, in the mouth. He was like John Rocker, only much less racist. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was John Rocker, unafraid to Which is so, important. This is the thing. Yeah. What Kiss was to rock and roll, that's what Ultimate <laughs> Warrior was to wrestling. You know what right? Kiss was? He was all makeup and theatrics and had no underlying Kiss, Kiss was to rock and roll what spinach is to vegetables. Yeah. How um, dare you? To his <laughs> dog crap. His finishing was on a body splash and gorilla press. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yet, at the time, as a kid, no one was doing that. And now, yeah. and running into people and now a body theater. slam and a frog yeah. splash isn't even a finisher move. Yeah, right. I mean, now it's an attitude. And the oh, it's a theatrical <laughs> yeah. 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 thing. Cena's finisher is a body slam. It's an attitude adjustment. It's chest throw and yeah, whatever. Who gives He's big enough. He should have a real finisher. He should. Yeah. Yeah. You can. That's not enough. But that's it. I think I'm going to Two rounds in, I think my mouth rushed for it. I'm going to aim Tony, lock it up. Yeah. All right. This is a family show. <laughs> yeah, I'm EG. Mind you, I'm the only one at this table who has not cussed. Like, they're going to they're gonna speak. Oh, good news. Thank you. Tony, you just did it. Yes, you did. Awesome. I no, said, no, thank you. you did. But here's what we're going to do. This is going to be a debate. They're going to speak. We're going to go to Hollywood. It's in the Bible. I can say it. Can you stop talking and I'm talking about it? I'm verifying that I can really take four rounds off the board. That's a valid point, though. That's my house. You're really. My house. Taking me off the my own podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, they're gonna we're gonna go to Hollywood. They're, it's gonna be in the Chinese theater, and they're gonna be like, I don't know if we're wrestling the Chinese theater. Grow up. I don't know. They're gonna be like, next show is next up. Little Mermaid, followed by Nicole Comedy Podcast, both PG family shows. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see. That's why we stopped what we were doing was for <laughs> okay. that joke. No, yeah, oh, man. yeah. I really honestly I'm, feel like that I'm joke is not on the not rush for. I'm the king of bad jokes. I remember my first. Movie. I know. Uh, I do this podcast for every week. I know. I mean, at this point, I just be. I just Josh, 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 what's your what's your two on this Mount Rushmore? Whoa, Reddick's standing on the line. Yeah, he's, yeah. Gotten, he's yeah. gotten off the path. Right, my, my number three. Number my number three. Two. Uh, we went the man. Three. My number two, the man of all time to me, but he's just not the number one, and I got a great reason. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold, so you got you got Stone Cold Hogan. reinvented wrestling again with the Attitude Era. Him and McMahon was legendary. That I still remember the Jim Ross. Oh my God, he's got a beer truck. Got a beer he's truck. Just like people Jim Ross. Oh my God, he's dead. He's yeah. dead. He's dead. Look at this poor Vince McMahon's car full of cement. Oh my God. That's his new Corvette. If, if pro wrestling still has some barbecue. Yeah, if pro wrestling literally just said like, you know, we should just fire everyone else and just do an hour of Stone Cold twice a week. Oh, yeah. That would have been the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In his heyday, for sure. I would his his, his, his finisher was the best. Be wrong, his character awesome. was the best. He was slamming beers. He got, is just, to me, the greatest you have Hogan, actual wrestler. Hogan, Undertaker, and Stone Cold. Yeah. That's three right now. Who do you got next? I'm agreeing with the man on my left. Stone Cold Stone is my Cold. number two. Oh, yeah. Say yeah. 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 we closing this one out. That's the bottom line. And that's the bottom line. What was, was he? What the was Stone he? Cold the, 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 the three million dollar man. Is that what he called himself? Austin three sixteen. Austin, Austin three sixteen. Million yeah, yeah. dollar man is Ted DiBiase. Right. Yeah. Uh, you guys you got here. six million no. dollar man. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Austin I did get a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you got you got Stone Cold. You both have Stone Cold. Yeah, yeah absolutely. This is next. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, gonna copy him too. No, no, no. I'm gonna get. 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 I'm the yeah, level one. yeah, you slam buddy, slam, slam, slam buddy. That. that was the first one I ever had. I had Undertaker, and I had, and I had That's good. Ultimate Warrior, and I and I just remember like being on top of my twin bed when I was a kid, and being like, I top, top being on top of the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> top, being like, no, being like top ropes. So it's just like, like I noticed there was a small yeah. hole in my Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I got real serious. <laughs> it was the most amazing toy. Ever. But I, I broke my wrist one time jumping off my bed and doing that. Oh, is that is that <laughs> story? <laughs> I found where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? My mom was like, "You're 
around it, and I was like, no, I'm the fucking champ. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. I won, Mom. Yeah. Put me in a laundry basket, push me down the stairs, because I'm awesome. I think we just opened up a whole like yeah. psychological subtext to all of this Pandora's box right here. Where this I'm gonna be grounded in my room with a broken wrist and my slam buddy. And yeah, just and and just being like, slam buddy takes out of my life. You know, I was my mom was like, "Do you want a TV?" And I was like, "Don't need it." Yeah, right. Not my slam buddy. Nick keeps talking and it's ruining wrestling for me every time he opens his mouth. Shut your mouth. I was gonna go. Hopefully, actually, I'm so glad Reddit's here to finally kind of agree with me more than Nick. Hashtag Team Griff. Team coming up. Tony, who you got next? Number of hashtag, be quiet with the hashtags. <laughs> I was going to go with a clean sweep here until you rest, you know, ruin it with your love buddies. Oh, grow up. Grow up uh, I got to go with the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold. Oh. The ultimate anti-hero. How could he was, not be on your Mount Rushmore? It, and, and I have to disagree with what you're saying that Daniel Bryan's the new Stone Cold. <laughs> I created myself. Stone Cold. He's the new Spike Dudley. Stone Cold was, no one was supposed to love him. And even in his heyday, he really never cared about a fan, which was the best part. He would throw beer on a fan and still be like, you're still going to go buy my t-shirt. Right. And spit it. <laughs> that was the answer. Daniel Bryan would come out and shake the kids' hands and pet the babies and sign the autographs. And Stone Cold would never I have literally never seen him do any of those things. I had a theory that I could be the Stone Cold of dating chicks in college. Doesn't work out well. You spit beer in a chick's face, she doesn't go buy your t-shirt. Well, no, yeah. if you're walking <laughs> around, you're walking around your afro half out of your batty helmet. Wait, you mean my yarmulke helmet? Yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 he's the white prince fielder. Her man, he really is. Our no, white not, prince fielder, but less in shape. That guy changed the game to the point that when I was young and he came out. Literally, my uncle, who was the one who got me into wrestling, would not let me at first watch the segments that Stone Cold was on. Yeah. They were so worried about the purity of that of that image being being sullied that if he came on, it had to go off until he was right. out of the ring. Oh, was, hell yeah. yeah. But no, he started the more than he had in the yeah. DX the and uh, the mm-hmm. Rocks. Oh, yeah, he was, he blurred, he he was blurred, blurred and bleached out. He didn't care. Everybody. I, mean, yeah. I think his first tagline was, oh, darn, yeah. They were still bleeping him on. Yeah. That. But he was like, so. like, he had no fear of fighting Vincent Mann. No. He, yeah, I don't think he had he was fear just of like, fighting a Corvette coming to the point of the It's like, dude, it's like, you're fighting, like, 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 like yeah, right. bring it on. Yeah. You're fighting right. Big Show and The Rock and Triple H, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'll fight my mom. Oh, Triple H. This guy who at best is going to give me a paper. I wish, triple, I wish there was, like, 10 on, on the on the Mount Rushmore, because Triple I just love the... Oh, Triple H. Oh, I love Triple H. He's a bad man. I love uh, Mr. Perfect. He used to spit his gum in the hand. This is the best of the best. I never saw Kurt Henning miss that gum. Yeah. I was always like, who did that gum hit? Like, that's yeah. not once did he gross. miss that gum. Because after never. two beers, I can't catch. I can't catch a cold after two beers. I'm going to spit in the air. All right. Yeah. Drum roll. All right, all right. Don't tell us what to do in our own Hey, welcome to Josh Reddick's podcast. You should feel, <laughs> you should feel privileged that we let show. you on here. We let you on here. You should feel privileged that you want to buy a house. Reddick was, like, yeah. was like, hey, Nick, please let me be on your podcast. I was begging him, begging him. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, he was like, that group you guys are genius in movies and sports. I want to talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag for Number one. <laughs> number one. And you're just cuddled. Ah, uh, and you're out. Yeah. No, number well, one. Good good number one. Good to see y'all. Number one. Number one to me is easy. The man that made the sport, laid all the groundwork, the most famous pro wrestler of all time, Andre the Giant. Easy. Ooh. You said Ooh. that to a room of silence, which means it wasn't. You guys all thought about it, and you're like, it wasn't easy. No, no, you know what? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm like, for the man who laid the groundwork, Coco beware. No, no, no. <laughs> the bird. No, what it was was bottom of the night. I hit a dinger, and you guys were like, well, Trish. You said Trish Stratus or something. Funny story, my brother almost got in a fist fight with Trish Stratus on a reality show. You ain't helping your cause at all, right? Andre, the guy that talks shit about money over here. Yeah, we're going to talk shit over here. I want to hear one. Reason why Andre the Giant should not be on this list. Kind of He's the most look, look, famous look. pro wrestler of all time. He is? I, I would Absolutely. say that Hogan, Hogan, Hogan was unanimous on our list. Yeah, because of the one he WrestleMania match with Hogan? Hogan did not become a superstar until he lifted the Giant. The Giant is the one who carried all that through the regional shows. He's the one who laid the ground. No, he the was the Princess Bride and had really <laughs> funny lines. Yeah. The Dwight Pirate. Anybody want to pin it? Anybody want to pin it? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're moving on. on. Josh Reddick is so small. I want to redeem the man to my left here. Oh. And, and, I, and I'm going to go with, with, with the game. I'm gonna, Triple H has always been my guy. Triple H? Triple H is my guy. He, he uh, definitely has the coolest ring entrance. He comes out with the best Motorhead song. 
He comes out, and up like and he spits water all over the place, and you know he's in the Degeneration X era with Shawn Michaels. Yeah. I don't think anybody says Shawn Michaels yet. Sweet Chin Music. He's, he's one of my honorable mentions as well. Um, <laughs> sweet Chin Music, you know. Sweet Chin Music. But this was his ponytails. He's our man. Oh, no, no. Really. <laughs> but, uh, best walk yeah. Tri- Triple H. Oh, Shawn. He's a uh, hey, sexy boy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's got big sexy. He's got great hair. He comes out with. Unlabeled bottles of water, throws them in the crowd, spits it up, and no, just does his thing. And I love Triple H, but uh, DQ, he was in Blade 2. Did you ever see that? He, yeah, he was in Blade 2. <laughs> It was great a bad guy. guy. Great bad guy. Wesley guy. Snipes had fucking beat his ass like the IRS did to Wesley Snipes. It was a <laughs> weird, like, life imitating art moment. <laughs> no, listen, as, as somebody who stays with him, I have to be like, you know, I gotta be careful about what I say here about his favorite person, but he did used to wear like an ascot and a dickie when he first came out. Dude, he did. Yeah. If, if, if Trevor first came out, oh, no, if he came out like an equestrian. I've got to say though, if he had stayed with that character, he might have made my route much. <laughs> like your your you fan base, rush yeah, more. your fan base is not those kind of people that like the affluent. Like, <laughs> I look like a French fencer. I play handball. Well, from time his, to time, his his early early matches, matches, anyone right for some highlights? <laughs> His finisher's fantastic. Oh, oh there he is, is the best. Best. I'm gonna put your head between my thighs and squeeze it to explode. Yeah, right? And I'll slam you down the mat. Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. I love Triple H. He was close on mine. I think he'd be in my top three. Triple H is a star guy. And a spoiler alert for you. Two of my top four Run My Rushmore guys will be fighting at WrestleMania this year. Whoa! Triple H and Daniel Bryan. I feel like we're in a commercial right now. We might be. Andre the Giant's gonna come back. I'm just saying, I'm just inside information. information. <laughs> I got the guy's number who's running. I'm in with that. I'm I got the guy's phone number who's running. Daniel the Bryan, Triple H, you better tweet this out. Yeah. We're gonna start a war over who Let's will be win. be honest, I love Triple H. He would not tweet this out. I'm he wouldn't even tweet me back. No, he won't. Do you think Triple H has even heard of the internet? Well, he's just like over there doing dumbbell benches. They're like, hey, have you heard of Twitter? He's like, get out of here! I've been working out! He's in Triple H. Loves himself. He loves himself so much that instead of the WWW, he puts HHH.WWE.com. <laughs> he gets HHH. Yeah, help me wrestle. Yeah. Okay. What you got, Nick? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to throw an honorable mention out. Just because I, I love Roddy Piper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roddy Piper. Mm-hmm. What do you Piper's got an honorable mention. I can, that's not it. That's not can I stop for a second? Yeah. This is nothing bad. I'm kind of a 50 50 fan on this guy. How come nobody has said The Rock? Oh, no, I have you know nothing what? against The Rock. I actually, fork, man. I was, I was Tooth Fairy. No, wait, wait, wait. I was really torn between The Rock and Andre, but to me, The Rock is just, he mm-hmm. kind of was riding on Stone Cold's wave. Well, like, Stone Cold did all said, the greatness that The Rock, The Rock might be like the biggest, greatest crossover. Well, that's the thing. What you said about but Andre Stone Cold did it before then. As, as far as like moving the WWE for The Rock did just as much. No, no, no. But Stone Cold did, did that. Let's rewind. Stone Cold did that in The Rock's era. Stone Cold was the right. The Rock wasn't even the face of his generation. Like now he's gone to be such a star. True. We all love right. it. So let's rewind that. You talk about Hulk Hogan and all the great movies he's made. Look at how many great movies The Rock. Suburban made. Command. Okay, no, Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy. You can take that out because I know you're gonna come up with that. I think The Rock's a killer. You look at Walking Tall. Yeah, uh, Escape from movie. Which Mountain Remake. Go run down. The run down. <laughs> run down. We can go head for head. Sean Wheel Scott. Yeah, great movie. Sniffer. I don't know, man. Pain Pain Pain. 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 Yep. G.I. Joe's. G.I. Joe's. Too fair. G.I. Joe's might have kind of been the The Too the, Fast and Too Fair. The Pazer definitely outlived the negative story. movies. He but I, no, uh, I, 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 he was in, uh, was that the sequel to Get Shorty? Yeah. yeah he was hilarious. He was like the huge gay guy. Yeah, the huge gay guy. I wanted to throw Roddy Piper out. Oh, the the one that came out last year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of movies. Speaking of movies. No, this one. No, the the one painting game, painting game. Oh, yeah, yeah. But but I wanted to throw like speaking of movies, Roddy Piper and they live. They live. Yeah. He comes out and he goes. It's right there. I came here to chew bubble gum and to kick ass. ass. And I'm not fresh out of bubble gum. gum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's super badass. So I have to give you an honorable mention. And it has more of the great poster. Like, my my, my, final, like, my, your list is my final Mount Rushmore, uh, Macho Man. Randy oh, Savage. That's crazy. Here's the, the only reason why. The only reason why he's on there is because he was the first person that actually like was in a commercial. I was like, I gotta get that. When he was like, Slim Are you ready for that big, big, juicy taste? No, you ready? Like, you're you're ready for yes, I am. Be sick in your mouth. You yeah. remember the first commercial though, right? Well, I was like, Mom, we have to get Slim Jim. <laughs> the, the first commercial actually goes exactly, and I know verbatim because so I always look this up. They hand him a bag of chips, and it's like just generic <laughs> chips. Go, Cheese! And he like rips them up all night and he's like, Yeah, I need beef! 
You gotta have flavor. <laughs> and he's just so mad. I just love that face. He like looks at it confused, like he's never seen it. And then he goes, "Gee." <laughs> <"Gee." laughs> <laughs> like, like, what really <laughs> sold me about me though was like I didn't even know it existed. Was the rap album. That you oh, had yeah. with with Randy Savage when he's like, this one goes out to my good friend and pal. Yeah, this, <laughs> this one goes out to my real close friend and pal, Kirby. <laughs> no, if you haven't, I'm gonna put it up on Nick Hall Comedy <laughs> Facebook. Uh, Macho Man's rap album. Can we please put the cheap commercial up too? Oh yeah. yeah. Back to that display. <laughs> she has she a she has Nobody's ever spelled the word. I gotta have flea. <laughs> no one's ever spelled the word chips with seven <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sheep. It's like McConaughey saying sheep. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping for my number one. Okay. I'll get the cricket silence. Let's move it on. Let's do it. Let's How dare you about that? But I, I, and maybe maybe this says a lot about my character and me growing up. But the uh, hurricane. No, I'm gonna go with uh, yeah. the Texas tornado with gold dust. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, tugboat was my number one. <laughs> I gotta go with uh, with a guy who he rocked a color most wrestlers would be ashamed to do it. But I gotta go with the excellence of execution. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Brett the Hitman Hart. Will always be my number one. Down will always be my number one. Uh, you know what? It was it was something about Montreal Screwjob. Yeah, I yeah. About this Canadian. You turned a blind eye. You guys turned a blind eye. <laughs> Everyone in the locker room turns a blind eye. I love this. <laughs> I love him. Just like the giant and the sharpshooter, dude. Andre be like, no, no, Bob. Well, right now it's probably pretty easy. I mean, you know. <laughs> well, now he's just a skeleton. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Bones here and there. I mean, he might be eight foot bones, but it's like that's where we're going down the road. Okay. Rest in peace, Andre. Yeah. Oh, Andre, right? Hashtag my bad, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just something about the guy. Like he came out in pink and with skulls and. He was a great wrestler. Badass yeah. sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then the whole Stu Hart thing, like you know, it was like. He, he, his father kind of seemed to be like the last that generation, the, the basement of pain and yeah. and all that. And I dug it. I dug the fact that Jimmy Anvil Neidhart, complete, you know, pedophile look with that <laughs> kind of thing. Like, he was allowed to wrestle somehow. <laughs> and, uh, well, because they weren't wrestling in middle schools. Dude. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I dug that whole that whole look, man. I just I, I loved it. And when he when he rose to that that top echelon, it was. That was my pinnacle at my age yeah. of wrestling. That was it. It was it was Brett him at heart. I, I longed to be that kid who was down at front row and got those hot pink wrapped around knockout yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. yeah, nowadays you can go to eBay and buy replicas for four dollars. Now we just catch you hanging around wearing pink for no reason. <laughs> there's no there's a reason for it. Oh, okay. It's just not a good reason. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well I wish I could have heard those crickets. I think they all killed themselves. <laughs> 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 So you got Hulk, you got Undertaker. I got Hogan, Undertaker, Giant, and Stone Cold. Okay. That's my four. Flair, yeah. Brian, Stone Cold, Triple H. Yep. Second best. I got Hulk, Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, and Macho Man Randy Savage. I went to Chips. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> I went uh, Hogan, Warrior, Stone Cold. And the hitman. Alright, so so hit us up on Twitter. Let's let's hear Twitter and YouTube. Uh, who won this debate? Let's, yeah, let's besides see who, me. That's first of all, let's see who won and then let's see your own Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I, I, at Nick Hall Comedy, at JL JL Griffey621 at Twitter. What are you, Josh? At Josh Reddick 16. Tony? Holy crap, I'm at Tony2 <laughs> underscore Tone. I believe that's my name. There should only be one Tony2 Tone. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. He's right. usually, you know, what do you call that word? Trolling. Oh, Trolling. Yeah, <laughs> just follow my Twitter activity and you and you'll find, find Tony. Tony. Yeah, 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 right? If I'm trolling on any three of these guys, it's probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm the fat dude with a kitten in his avatar. So yeah, it should be pretty hard. Yeah, to totally. Got the fox out, right? Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what pedophiles used to call the old candy trick. <laughs> <laughs> The hey, of Jimmy it's like they, they, go, they, they go, hey kid, do you want some candy? Get in the van! Get in the van! I think we got one more thing though, Nick, right? Oh, yeah. oh, we yeah. recently, uh, we did an episode, you guys, where we did the top five best sports movies ever. Ooh. Oh. So to narrow this down, we have an actual big leaguer with us, right? So maybe we should just do, uh, you guys, what's your favorite baseball just movie? The, just your top one. Like, no, like, we ended up with three baseball movies. You're stranded on We had uh, Sandlot, Bull Durham, and 
what was our third base? Major, major, major League. Major League, yeah. yeah. League of their own with DQ because it's women's sports. <laughs> right. No, I'm stranded. You said it. Well, no, you're stranded on, you're stranded major on the desert island. You can take one baseball movie. Major League. One baseball movie. It's, it's Major League. Yeah. Major there's, too many, yeah. there's too many quotes. I'm in agreement with it. And it's got, it's got the out of Ripley, 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 to me, Major League is the greatest sports movie I agree. of all time. I agree. Tied, um, Good it's like people. just a step above slap shot for me. Like yeah. those are the two best sports movies I've ever all seen. Right. See the better it's Air Bud Seven, Seven. <laughs> <laughs> How about the air up there with Kevin Bacon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon, 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 Best no, sports best, movie. Best, sports, best, sports, best sports, 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 sports movie. We yeah. were talking about I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. I want to be your favorite I'm a, sports movie. It's, it's, I'm a huge What's your inspiration? Movie. Remember the Titans. Yeah. It's a uh, fantastic uh, sports okay. movie. Okay. Okay. That's really good. That, that I can't get behind best. that and agree with you, but I, I can see where yeah, that's, 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 that's one of the That's what I'd say if I were, you know. And they tuned out because they were running a black quarterback to start, and he's like, those guys don't pocket pass. That's Just kidding. Too soon. Hashtag. true. What's that old basketball movie that's like a real big Hoosiers? Hoosiers. Hoosiers. We're both Hoosiers. Hoosiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think that's a pretty corny movie. Corny. Yeah. I was gonna say I think you might have fluffed him under that the movie. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> my hands are both the table. I mean, you got yeah. Dennis Hopper and Gene Hackman. In it. Not mad about that. But I guess what ruined it for me is I had this eighth grade teacher that that uh, got to play an extra in that movie, and that's all he talked about. Like, uh, for like the whole year, he's like, hey, was, you guys want like to watch Hoosiers? No, no, he was, like, he was a history teacher. He's like, hey, you guys want to watch Hoosiers had, again? Had a yeah. teacher like uh, that. Made the at minute 42, right. 31, I'm, I'm the guy. That was like me, though. I was an extra like, in Blue up. Chips. <laughs> they filmed Blue Chips not too far from us yeah, in Frankfurt. Yeah. I was an extra in uh, and I you in Chapman. I was really? an extra in yeah, nothing they because I only play lead roles in my life, bro. <laughs> That's why we're sitting here in Josh Reddick's kitchen, right? Yeah, yeah. Since we're going to have a podcast, we're going to I was going to say, go to, go to IMDb and look up Nick Will and Nick Hall being right. <laughs> Four right, right, errors, right. Foul, not found. Let's, let's bring it down. we got to get out of here. Yep. You guys are going to listen to the Nick Hall Comedy Podcast. We had Josh Reddick on today. Special guest Tony as well. Josh Griffey, nobody cares about The best. We'll Griffey. see you guys next week. Seven.